Hello, this is Wednesday morning, May the 27th, 2020. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor at Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm very glad to be able to spend a few moments with you talking about an important subject. A lot of people put a lot of stock in what we could call, and what the Bible calls, the outward appearance. And much of this is about one's image based on their clothing styles, how they present themselves, and so on. And we put a lot of stock in the outward appearance and how someone comes across and their image. In fact, in marketing, they say image is everything and what people think of you. And sometimes the first impressions that you leave on people will be a lasting impression and will affect everything else they ever think about you. Well, the Bible says some things about the outward appearance, and I'm not saying that our image is not important. It is important how we represent the Lord Jesus Christ. However, that which is appearing on the outside is not the most important thing. Probably the most familiar verse on this subject is what God told Samuel in 2 Samuel and 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. God had sent Samuel to the house of Jesse in Bethlehem to find the next king of Israel, and he'd rejected Saul because of his pride and his self-will. And now he was sending Samuel to find the next one who would be the king and anoint him to be king. And he saw these big, tall, strong, strapping sons of Jesse, the oldest, on down. And he thought, wow, uh, here's a great choice for the new king. And this was God's answer to Samuel with his thoughts in that direction. For Samuel 16, 7, But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, for man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. And this is a good reminder to us and very instructive for us that it's what goes on in the heart that's the most, the very most important thing. Not how we appear to others, not the image that we present on the outside. A lot of people may look very, very good on the outside, but God's concerned about the heart more than he is about the outward appearance. And so that's a great thing for us to take stock of when we are thinking about how we live day by day. God sees our heart and he wants to know that things are right inside. I believe that if we're right on the inside, he'll see to it that we have the right appearance on the outside as well. And that's something that will kind of take care of itself if we will be sensitive to what the Spirit of God is doing inside of us. Another verse on this subject is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 7, where the Bible says, Do you look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again, that as he is as that as he is Christ's, even so are we Christ's. And there were some people who were not thinking very highly of the Apostle Paul, and part of that apparently was because. He didn't come across as being a, a strong and respectable person in some ways in their way of thinking. They were looking too much on the outward appearance. And Paul corrected that and said, hey, don't don't look there. Don't don't choose that as your means for determining the value of the individual. Uh, trust that God is looking on the heart. And if the Lord gives this person wisdom and puts him in a place of responsibility and respectability, don't just be looking only at the outward appearance. God looks on the heart, and God knows what that person is really and truly all about. Let's be, let's be genuine. Let's not just put on airs. Let's not just try to appear a certain way on the outside so people will think well of us. The most important person to think of us is the Lord himself. And how does God see who you really are? That's what's most important. Focus on the heart, not the outward appearance. God looks on the heart, and that's what we ought to be most concerned about. God bless you today.